In February 2024, Turkey's own fifth-generation aircraft, the Khan, announced its maiden flight. We fixed eyes. It is not difficult to find that this aircraft in appearance is very close to the United States of America F-22 fighter, and China J-20 fighter jet is very different. Turkey Khan fighter and this is not an example, and then look at South Korea, this cosmopolitan country, and Indonesia, together with the so-called fifth-generation stealth fighters, KF-21, is not also have deja vu. It's a feeling of deja vu, isn't it? This has led many people to wonder why stealth fighters all over the world are imitating the F-22 and not learn from China's J-20. The biggest reason for this phenomenon is that the design difficulty of the J-20 fighter is so high that ordinary countries simply can't learn it, including the United States. The biggest gap between J-20 and American F-22 is naturally the duck wing design of J-20. Through this duck wing, J-20 can get more lift, can change its aerodynamic layout at any time when maneuvering, so as to have the best maneuverability at any time. But the duck wing design will also have a bigger problem, that is, there will be a very complicated vortex around it. If you can't control the vortex, the aircraft will either wobble or be destroyed. Moreover, the duck wing design makes it easy to stall when flying at a large elevation angle, which has extremely perverse requirements on the flight control system of the aircraft. Moreover, it is not a simple thing to make the duck wing design achieve enough effect, and it needs a lot of experiments. In other words, the duck wing design is a design that is great effect when it is well designed, but not only has no advantage when it is not well designed, but also has problems everywhere. To accomplish a good duck wing design, you can't do it behind closed doors. You need to conduct a lot of experiments, and to conduct a large number of duck wing experiments requires the use of specialized tools, that is, wind tunnels. In other words, whether or not there are enough advanced wind tunnels determines whether or not a country can perfectly design a duck wing. Unfortunately, there are very few countries in the world that have enough advanced wind tunnels. China counts as one, all of Europe counts as one and the United States counts as half. Turkey is a country that naturally does not have any advanced wind tunnels, and it has to rent wind tunnels from other countries in order to develop its warplanes. And Turkey in the development of the Khan fighter jet is also true that basically rely on renting other countries to engage in wind tunnel research. Basically rent the United States, Canada and the United Kingdom of the three countries of the wind tunnel. Without a wind tunnel, Turkey can only settle for the second best, in accordance with the shape and design of the F-22 fighter jet to develop their own fifth-generation aircraft. Why doesn't the F-35 have a duck wing design? It is worth mentioning that when the United States was developing the F-35 fighter jet, it actually considered using a duck wing design, but there are two factors that led to the United States ultimately not letting the F-35 use the duck wing design. One is the problem of the F-35 tri-service common, and the other is the problem of the wind tunnel in the United States. For the former, the F-35 fighter is a Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps three forces to use the fighter, so the U.S. in the development of the F-35 fighter need to take into account the common needs of the three forces. F-35 fighter if the duck wing design. The Air Force use of the F-35 a fighter is indeed a major benefit, after all, this can improve the maneuverability and lift of the F 35A. But for the F 35C fighters used by the Navy, the fighters with duck wings is a big problem. If a naval aircraft has a duck wing, it may increase the pitching response during landing, resulting in problems with the fighter's butt rubbing against the deck. In addition, the duck wing design and low speed flight state drag and lift loss is larger, cannot meet the precise landing requirements of the carrier aircraft. Based on the needs of the F-35C carrier aircraft, the F-35 fighter cannot use the duck wing design. As for the wind tunnel aspect, what many people don't realize is that the U.S. wind tunnels haven't actually been developed in 30 or so years. About 30 years ago, human research on aerodynamics entered a fork in the road. At that time, because of the widespread use of supercomputers, many people thought that in the future, they only needed to use supercomputers to simulate the aerodynamic shape of the warplanes, and then they could complete the aerodynamic shape design of the warplanes. So the U.S. side intends to bet the future development of aerodynamics on supercomputers, and in the last 30 years has not built many large-scale advanced wind tunnels. But on the Chinese side, Chan Shuesen said, wind tunnels are very good, but it is always necessary to actually blow a blow 
so the Chinese side is speeding up the development of supercomputers, but also in the construction of large-scale advanced wind tunnels. By now, the reality has proved that the supercomputer for turbulence, eddy currents and other hybrid systems cannot help a country to develop a sword to go off the beaten track of the aerodynamic shape of the aircraft design can only rely on the reality of wind tunnels to carry out a large number of experiments. As a result, China now has the ability to engage in the design of the duck wing on the warplane, the United States, but because of the last 30 years basically did not build a large-scale advanced wind tunnel. So the development of warplanes can only use the conventional shape design. It is worth mentioning that because of the wind tunnels, now the United States and hypersonic missiles is also far behind China. It should be noted that the development of hypersonic missiles also requires wind tunnels for massive testing. After all, the speed has reached Mach 5, or even Mach 10 or more. Flying objects, the surface of the airflow, how complex, not supercomputers can be simulated. And even if the supercomputer to simulate, you have to have the raw data, that is, first blow through the wind tunnel, and then take the data blown out of the wind tunnel to simulate. But the United States does not have advanced wind tunnels with supercomputers to calculate or no data. In addition, the current hypersonic missiles usually use two types of body configurations. One is a double cone, one is a multiplying wave body. Whichever configuration will be in flight in the surface of the formation of extremely complex airflow conditions, especially the wave riding configuration itself is a need to rely on the surface airflow to obtain additional lift configuration. The airflow of the warhead will only be more complex. So to develop a qualified hypersonic missile, you can only use a lot of wind tunnels to blow. But the results we have all seen, the United States has been until now, only one Dark Eagle hypersonic missile development smooth enough. Although the Dark Eagle missile is called a hypersonic missile, but in fact is a nature in China's Dongfeng 26, is very similar to the medium-range ballistic missiles and the Russian dagger. China's Dongfeng 17 such serious hypersonic missiles are far from each other. The reason behind this is probably also related to the wind tunnel problem in the United States.